Number one, we've got to move on to this one. This is some interesting news courtesy of this account on Twitter called Garment JT. Garment JT, big up Garment JT for this interesting bit of news regarding the Salili Bembry um crocs polex juniper it's a sneaker that Salili bembry did with crocs um he obviously from all the great work he did with them with the slides and shit he went on to make his own shoe from the ground up a truly original kind of silhouette and shit i kind of reviewed it or spoke about it on the stream or the podcast myself and i wasn't really too fond of it when i first saw them to be completely honest am i the only one who thinks that maybe the Salili bembry hype is coming to a screeching halt didn't i say this in the previous pod that I was a bit dubious about people sucking him up a bit when it comes to designing and shit, especially when it comes to shoes. Whenever he's get the opportunity to design a shoe from the ground up, I felt like it's always been a bit shaky. When he's doing colorways, yeah, he's fucking a genius. But I feel like when he's doing shoes from the ground up, he doesn't have the best track record. And I feel like this early leak of the Salili Bembry Crocs Polex Juniper is definitely an indication that maybe the fall off is soon coming because these look fucking hideous. This is courtesy of Hypebeast. It says a closer look at a Salili Bembry and Crocs Polex Juniper. And yeah, I don't know what to say about the shoe. It's basically got some sort of pink upper um, with a clear sole. Um, the sole kind of obviously matches that kind of fingerprint design thing that he has on the Crocs. And it obviously looks more like a trainer than the Croc itself with obviously laces with like a conventional tongue and the outsole kind of covers the entirety of the, it kind of, you know, leaks all over the top of the upper, it's almost like molten lava, like gooey type of thing. But just the design of them overall, they look kind of hideous. Can you imagine looking down on these shoes? when you're wearing them from the from the like imagine looking down at your feet when you're wearing them with all this bulbous shit all around it and shit all this unnecessary plastic and rubber everywhere they look absolutely hideous but i did kind of like the fact that he did try to do something interesting and different something very much in line with his sort of like design ethos and his kind of just general style his codes whatever you want to call it it does look like a silly Bembry shoe but it just wasn't something to my liking at all but since i've actually seen the pit the actual shoe in person but, but like you know worn i'm kind of warm into them especially in the other colorway so if you go on silly Bembry's instagram account you'll first see another colorway that features the shoe that he put out and the first shoe he put out had a bit more of a green translucent sole this one has like a see-through gum sole and it has like a almost like a tree camo vibe something that he's also kind of synonymous for but the actual pictures here that he has of the actual lookbook where he's got the model wearing a pair of the junipers they look so much better on legitimately so this model and this particular lookbook picture that he has on his post on his instagram page that says juniper sally Bembry, the features this old dude this really cool old dude with a white beard who's sitting down and he's got this great orange um puffer jacket on and under vest and he's wearing cut he's kind of wearing the similar style that what Salili Bembry wears himself and he kind of is outdoors camping or whatever he's doing um with his fucking four arms and looking like a Hindu god and he's got this amazing baggy camo trousers on that he's rolled up with the Salili Bembry kind of you know um what you call it branded socks and the junipers on his feet and so worn the way that he's wearing them he's made them look 10 times better like when they're actually done you know like that like look how good they these look compared to the actual tweet so you see these pictures of them as a product image and what they're selling for now on StockX. they're going for like 500 dollars. so i think all this to say because i'm rambling here is that i guess people saw the vision in these before i did i didn't see the vision i saw these stock pictures and i just wasn't sold on them i was like yeah they didn't look that too great so i didn't really bother about them um i think they actually released the other day so i could have actually gotten a pair but i didn't even try to get them because i didn't really like the way they looked but then when i go on salili Bembry's instagram post and i see this guy wearing them i'm like oh that's what people saw people saw the vision that i didn't see they look so much better on especially worn the way they're worn there with like you know your combat trousers rolled up a three quarter lengths away or three quarters up and stuff nice and baggy they look really fucking cool even just worn down over them actually with cargo pants or big sweats or stuff especially the stuff that i wear um it would definitely wet, look really fucking well with them i'm not gonna lie they look so good in it i wonder if those shoes what are those shoes there those orange boots what are these 
these outdoor things he's got these outdoor chunky almost like they're like a it's almost like a duffel or puffer coat at the top and it's got this really soft lining i'm not sure if they're slippers or whatever if they're just like coveralls i'm not too sure overalls for shoes but they look really cool but anyway regardless they've been styled really well and now i see the vision and i wish i kind of wish i kind of got them now i'm not gonna lie they look so much better now styled these fucking junipers but the resale the resale on these is fucking wild i'm not too sure what the actual retail was but let's say the retail was like 150 200 allegedly according to StockX and this user screenshot they're they're going for this is like a common size as well a us 10 they're going for um between 400 to 500 dollars fucking wild isn't it wild so proof as well that slady Bembry's design and his touch and his you know appeal Tra traverses and transcends models it's not just about the regular crocs that we all know and love him for people love everything this guy does clearly we've got another picture here of another model wearing them and this time it's, a, it's not cargo it looks like he's this person's wearing like baggy dungarees and look how good they look man especially with that kind of knitwear on this guy with a big white beard obviously he looks really cool but look how good they look look how good they look look at how good they fucking look what people are saying oh look people are complaining about the release right look at this from honestly sneaker releases are terrible and they've never not been terrible i guess maybe they went badly for these junipers um what did the person say here someone complaining in um silly Bembry's comments how is it that i was able to put a pair in my cart then once i moved to shopping it sold out listen i understand the limiting of the shoes to make them exclusive however it's not enjoyable at all we waited for a password for some people never got it then if you didn't think you go to the site without a password you wouldn't know that you needed to you needed one we're still asked out hopefully this is another sale and the password situation is rectified so there was some sort of password issue and then when people got a hold of the password naturally as always happens by the time they went to put the password in that shit already had sold out anyway so you know have they been backdoored was there a glitch did people find it were they sharing the codes on fucking discord and shit who fucking knows but i think nowadays with the way sneaker releases are if you have the money and the means just buy them on resale the, the, as soon as they fucking drop because sometimes you can find bargains so if they did re retail for 200 dollars, at least you could buy them on resale for three or 400 that's the only way to kind of get away with it or maybe just enter a raffle and just kind of hope for the best and kind of don't really look at it or you know whatever too much actively participating in the password all that's just too much for me I don't, I don't have the patience i'd rather just spend a bit extra money and, and and just get them shipped to me when they end up shipping but they do look so good though i see how people are hassled but look at how they, good they look with those blue socks with those cargo oh, yeah people saw the vision i didn't see the vision i trashed these when they first came out i think i was very negative on them to be fair and they look really fucking good like, look at the soles that that almost like fingerprint design I, i'm not sure if it's a fingerprint design or if it's like a topography thing um but whatever it is with that clear sole and the green florentine kind of oh, they look so good and the guy with this fucking baggy um dungarees on with the socks showing yeah this is kind of the same way that i was wearing my fucking um tom Sachs mars yard actually yeah, i should never pay i need to kind of probably repurchase from fucking shenzhen soon as well but yeah what an amazing shoe uh big up silly Bembry. he knew what he was doing i didn't know what i was talking about and clearly people have said that they fucking love the shoe because look at the fucking resale price look at the resale price it's absolutely balmy absolutely balmy but again not to be surprised considering how sick they fucking look considering how sick they fucking look